Yeah, what's up guys? Before we get into this video, I just want to quickly say there's a lot of devastating things happening in the world right now. Um, you know, especially in places like America, there's a lot of devastating stuff in the world happening right now. I just want to say, make sure you hug your families a little bit tighter tonight. Um, you know, tell people you love them. We live in a scary and unprecedented time and uh, you guys are in my thoughts. That being said, I'm hoping that the FIFA content we're going to be bringing you guys over the next few weeks will hopefully take your mind off the things that are happening. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. And uh, and let's try and brighten some days. So we're starting off with Decker's team who says, Hi mate, could you rate my team? The only tradables are Road to the Final Militao and Road to the Final Dembele. The first pick is what I start and the second pick is what I play in game. I've got around 3 million coins to spend. Oh, Twitter. Oh, Twitter, have you done this? We're going to work with it. You know what? We're going to work with it. It's really blurry, but I've kind of made it work. Uh, he's got 3 million coins to spend. Get rid of Cesc Fabregas straight away. You do not need a Cesc Fabregas there. Um, he is playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder. In my opinion, with 3 million coins, get yourself a prime Matthias as a box-to-box. -box. He's absolutely incredible. Got very, very nice stats in game. I would say get yourself a box-to-box -box, uh, midfielder, the likes of um, prime Matthias. Uh, I would then say get rid of Puyol unnecessary like in my i don't understand you must be a trader because having three million coins liquid in this team does not make a whole lot of sense um puyol's gotta go get yourself a headliner nelson Semedo or a team of season carvajal uh di maria's gotta go uh you've got you can put anyone there literally any single person in the whole game maybe go with like a team of the season son or go with a team of the season of your choosing whoever you think would be great in game um i would then also maybe look to improve Road to the final, Ede Militao, to maybe a team of the season, Varane. Or maybe even a team of the season, Ramos. Both are very good in game. And then I would upgrade your goalkeeper also accordingly. Um, if you don't go with uh, with a team of the season, Ramos. Uh, if you, sorry, if you don't go with a team of the season, Varane, you go with Ramos. You'll get the Spanish link to Guardiola. And also, hopefully, the link to Carvajal at right back. Um, but with 3 million coins, in my opinion... This is a really poor team, bro. You've got to work on it. Next one coming from Joe says, Hi, Ryan. The first is how I start and the second is how I play in game. Everyone untradeable. Don't have any coins. Just know uh, I can easily save. Oh, sorry, just now, but I can easily save. Also, the front three all get 8chem due to loyalty and the manager. If you're wondering, love to keep up the good work, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Wow. This is a this is a god squad, man. This is a, this is an absolute god squad, in my opinion. This really is phenomenal. Uh, in my opinion, things I would change in this team is definitely Benzema. Benzema, for me, is way too clunky to be a cam. Um, looking at your options here, there are a few decent options. Um, if you're like, I would say one thing I do want to touch upon as well is this scam, this absolute scam SBC, this Lucas, um, for 1.1 million coins, this is a scam. Now the card itself is phenomenal and actually would work amazingly in your team, but for 1.1 million coins, it's an absolute scam. If you do get lucky with upgrades and you get yourself a lot of fodder, um, Perhaps put the fodder into Lucas, but until then, I probably wouldn't bother. I would say in terms of who you can use there for a cam uh, in your team, I'm wondering Brazilian-wise. You could go for like a team of the season, Alex Teixeira. That could work pretty well. Or like a team of the season, Oscar, possibly. Um, you could also bring down Richarlison to CDM and a left cam play like a team of the season, Dybala, once you've sold Benzema. Uh, providing Benzema is, of course, tradable. Which I, is he tradable? Um... Everyone untradeable. Okay, so he's not tradable. He's untradeable. But you could save up towards getting something like a Dybala or like a, an Alejandro Gomez or something um, if you can easily save. Uh, honestly, the team is fantastic, though. It's a really good team. Next one coming from Bobby, who says, uh, I play the second one in game. I've got about 150k, but I can save everything untradeable. Sadov off, off for Mares at the start. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure about bringing players off and on the pitch and stuff like that. I'm just not a big fan of it. I don't think that subbing someone on necessarily is the greatest idea in the world. I get why you do it, though. Um, and I'm not going to tell you to change that because that, you know, you clearly are having success with it if you enjoy the team. Uh, this team is great, man. The, the reds are definitely a flex. You've got some great red picks there. Um, the only thing I would say with this team, I'm not the biggest fan of normal Ronaldo at this stage of the game. I think you could definitely improve that. You have the uh, ability to go with literally anything over in this left cam spot. If you can save up towards getting like a Tots Latara Martinez or like a Tots Dybala or someone like that, I would go for it. Apart from that, I think the rest of the team is phenomenal. How do you have an untradeable moments, Matthias? I do. May I ask? Uh, rivals? Pretty crazy. GG. Uh, the next one coming from Taha, who says, Only tradables are Semedo and Renan Lodi. I'm saving up for Carvajal. Please tell me where to improve. Let's check it out. Okie dokie. I would say, yeah, I think that your, your weaknesses in this team, I would say are Litmanen and Semedo. I think everywhere else is strong. 
Um, so I would just say, yeah, get yourself Carver Howe and then work on upgrading Litmanet eventually to, to a better version. Not a better version, but a better card. Uh, Cam-wise, there is a lot of different great options you can go with icon-wise. I'm going to let you choose based on your... Uh, based on your um, play style and the way you play the game. Uh, next one coming from Ben. It says, sorry for spamming. Would just love some ideas. Uh, this is my squad right now. Only have 30k. Everyone untradeable. Everyone except Mar Mariano and Lozano um, are untradeable. I know Rashford is only on 5 chem, uh, but I sub him on at minute one anyway, so I don't mind. I'm not a chem snob. I would love uh, to get ideas. Who should I upgrade to next? Let's check it out. Um, wait, you sub off... I know Rashford is only on 5 chem, but I sub him on minute one anyway. You sub on Rashford. Interesting. Right. Okay. Um, I mean, the team looks great. Realistically, in this team, I'm just trying to think of what you can do to... I do think you need to help yourself out chemistry-wise. I really do. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a different formation you could play to help yourself out here. No, I mean, what you could do is you could put Insigne down at centre mid, or uh, left mid, and then you could play Rashford at left wing. Now, that will mean Insigne's on 7 and Rashford's on 8, collectively at 15, as opposed to 10 and 5, both on 15 again. But it, it evenly spreads out the um, the chemistry, in my opinion. I think that will help you out a lot, playing Insigne where Rashford is and Rashford where Insigne is. At, the, at least then, Rashford's on 8, Insigne's on 7, as opposed to 1 on 5 and 1 on 10. Um, but apart from that, I think this seems great, man. I give it a solid 9.3 out of 10. I think weak points... But Mishizoka could be upgraded to the foot birthday one. But both the Lozano's a bit meh. I would go with someone else right there. And if you do put Insigne over at centre mid, you can get a different uh, right wing as well. But apart from that, I think the team is very good. Uh, next team is going to be from uh, It's Ways, who said, I've only got 100k right now, but not looking to make changes until I get more. Who do you recommend to save up for? The third is, uh, the third is so I play in game. And Manlat is the only tradable. And the left back, which is the only player I am looking to change. Keep it the good vids. Can you rate it? Thank you very much, man. Let's check it out. So, rating-wise, I would give this team... What am I thinking? I would give you a 7.5 out of 10. I think weaknesses, definitely Mario Rui. Littmanen's a massive weakness. Berardi's a massive weakness. Playing Luis Alberto at striker as well is a massive weakness. Um, I would say strong points. You've got a great defense back line and a great goalkeeper. That Pedro card is a great striker, and I would play him at striker. Uh, and Allen's a fantastic midfielder. So what I would say with this is you've got to work and get yourself a better holding mid that isn't Litmanen. I mean, you could even you could even maybe play Alberto as midfielder, centre mid, um, and then work on getting a different striker. I mean, what are you looking to link in here? You've got Rashford up there. Um, you could uh, maybe play Manalas on eight and then go with like a, I don't know, like a Jamie Vardy at left centre mid. And then... I mean, you can still play Mario Rui there, actually, and play Jamie Vardy on eight, whichever one you prefer. Uh, I just, I, I don't think that playing Litmanen as a centre mid in this in this setup, because you're relying heavily then on Allen to carry everything defensive-wise, and and then Litmanen, you're relying heavily on him moving forward. And I don't think Alberto at striker is a great shout. So, uh, yeah. The next one coming from uh, Newton Nats, who says, all untradeable, can you rate my team, bro, and give suggestions? Great vids, bro. Thanks, man. Check it out. Wow. Incredible team. You've got great red picks, great team in general. Uh, I would give this team, on a rating of 1 to 10, I would give it a solid 9.3. Now, I'm deducting rating-wise for Paulinho and De Jong both being off chemistry. I think that you can get better chemistry in this team, definitely, if you work on on maybe maybe you replace like Fekir with a better player. Um, you could definitely get... I think, I think you could figure it out. I think you could figure it out. It would probably take some... some uh, expensive changes or an expensive change but you could definitely figure it out whether you get a brazilian icon to replace fekir and then play him at left cam and then de Jong up top maybe um i would also deduct points personally for hakimi i don't like hakimi i think that he's a little bit weak he doesn't feel 99 pace in game the high low work rates let him down a lot um and I don't like Fekir very much, but I, that's my personal preference, which is why I've not been like, oh, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10, uh, because you probably really enjoy them. And it's a, it's a fantastic squad regardless. Um, and anything I say does not change how amazing the squad really is. So GG on that. Um, unfortunately, it, that one's fine. Pictures like this, guys, you can't screenshot it. La uh, landscape. Landscape, sorry, portrait on a, on a phone. Like You can't be looking like this and screenshot it and send it in. It's not that is how it turns out on my PC monitor. This one's better, you know, uh, screenshot it in landscape, stays HD. Um, 
but this one's from Emre says, Hey, but this is my main team on my main account. I've got no coins, but I'm willing to save up. The untradables are Henderson, Cyprian, Courtois, Trossard, and R9. Why are they concepts, though? This is what I ask you. Why are you not on your main account right now? Um, I mean, hey, it's not really me to judge. I would say, if you can eventually save up, get yourself La La right back, the team of the season. Obviously, this is with saving. Um, and then I'd also say possibly... Uh, upgrading Van, uh, sorry, Varane to a better version of Varane. Um, and just upgrading players in general, really, to better versions of themselves. Next one comes from ACL. He says, hello, mate. Uh, everyone in this team is untradeable, including the bench. I'll play a 4 2 2 or a 4 one We'll have around 500k next rewards day. Any ways to improve the squad? Keep up the good work. Love the vids. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, dude. Wow. I like this squad a lot, to be honest. I like this squad a lot. Honestly, I wouldn't change anything regarding this squad yet. I would just wait because you never know. Rewards day, you might get insanely lucky and hit like a, a red Ben Yedder, or you might get insanely lucky and hit like a red Renato Sanchez or something like that. And then obviously that'll change the team. You're taking out Van der Beek for Renato Sanchez, etc. Uh, so I would just wait until rewards before making a decision on what you're going to change in the team. Uh, but this is a fantastic squad. And obviously if you don't end up hitting anything good in rewards or your guaranteed pack, You've got 500k to work with. Maybe you start trading with it. Maybe you figure a few things out that way. Um, but I think the team is a really, really nice squad. The next one coming from Carlos, who says, What's up, Haber? Looking for upgrades to the squad. Everyone isn't tradable except for Neymar on the bench. Have about 700k. Thanks. No worries, bro. Check it out. Um, again, this is another squad that I would not really change, bro. I would not really change. Uh, even with 700,000 coins, I mean, Pele's phenomenal. Uh, R9 is phenomenal. Lotaro is great. Allen's phenomenal. Gretzky is great. Kamada is great. I mean, the only thing I would say in this team, maybe upgrade your Zambrotta to a better right back. Maybe go with foot birthday uh, Danny De Costa. That could work. Um, whether you go with a, what's there a team of season right back? I mean, Hakimi. No, I wouldn't go with Hakimi. Maybe you go with a team of season Alfonso Davies off chem there. Uh, you're cool, but that's the only thing I would say about this team that I would change in any way whatsoever in any aspect at all. The rest of this team is phenomenal in my opinion, and it's definitely end game. Uh, the next one coming from Swezzy, who says the front three of Varane and, and Mats. Uh, the front three of Varane and Mats are tradable. Uh, got about 250k, but I can always save. Second and third picks are how I play in game. Let's check it out. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, I like that. Okay. Um, realistically, again, I don't see a lot that would change. Eventually, when you get to a point where you can afford it, upgrade Varane to the team of the season if you can, or to a team of the season Ramos, depending on, you know, which one you prefer. Uh, Ramos is only about 600k out of your budget, and if you do save up, uh, I would go for that. Um, what else would I change, if anything? Realistically, nothing. Just wait and see what cards we get. We might get some insane uh, footies cards in a month or two, um, and that would improve the team massively. We just sort of wait and see what we get. The next one coming from uh, Anthony. He says, hey, Haber, all my players are untradeable, including the bench. I've got around 300k. I've recently got the red Hernandez and swapped Odegaard with Griezmann in a 4-5-1 as well as Hendo with Cruz. Right, okay, here's the thing. Please send me updated pictures. Please. I, You guys know I can be pretty stupid sometimes when it comes to teams. I can be an absolute idiot. I can misread things all the time. I, There's not a whole lot going on in here sometimes. I can't genuinely, I struggle to envision how you're playing this team with the information you've just given me. Like, I need to still, sort of see a visual representation because the amount of teams that I see, it kind of it kind of frazzles my brain a little bit. So if you could send me in an updated one, please, I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll check it out then. Uh, the next one coming from Tom, who says, first is my starting lineup, the second is in-game. Team bench and subs are untradeable. I've got around 20k, but I could easily make money. Keep the work on the videos. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Okay, interesting. Um, I would say the weak points in your team, Hierro, Rivaldo. Um, that's about it, really. Just Hierro and Rivaldo. I would say save up to upgrade your right centre-back and save up to upgrade your left striker. Um, apart from that, it's a really good team. The next one coming from Sam. I've got 800k. Uh, Mares and Insigne are tradable. Uh, finished 21 and 8. Got rigged 43 one in game. Insigne, Cam, rate and any improvements. Thanks, love the videos. Let's check it out. We've got Red Nangolan. Bro, I don't think it matters if you got elite or not, bro, to be honest. Because looking at this team and looking at the players you've got, it, the red, your red look seems really good anyway. I see a lot of people getting upset when they don't hit elite. And it's like, you're going to get decent reds in gold anyway. The amount of better reds you get in like gold two and gold gold one, I find, as opposed to like elite three, it's staggering. Um, with this setup, though, I think it's a really good team. I would say rating wise, I give it a solid 9.3 out of 10. 
I think that whilst Blanc is definitely great, I think there is definitely improvements to be made there now. Um, whilst icons are, in my opinion, a lot cheaper at least than they were before, you know, maybe like five months ago, that Blanc would have been around a million coins. And now a prime Matthias is like 1.3 mil, you know, or a mid Vieira is like 1.2 mil. So I think you could definitely improve Blanc. Um, I'd also say, eh, I mean, he, you know, I, I personally don't like Alejandro Gomez. I'm not the best with only nimble agile players i prefer having them having a bit of stock a bit of build a little bit of strength you know um but that's just how i play and i'm not going to tell you to change that based on how i play because you probably play a lot differently and you're finishing higher than i do in weekend league so obviously i don't want to you know stick my nose in and try and change your opinion on anyone uh the last two for this episode the first one coming from james collins let's go james collins he says hi abo this is my team i've started trying to grind the league sbcs i've got around 700k to spend but i don't want to use all of it any upgrades to this team only tradables are mbappe and devry on the bench second pick is in game love your vids i would say sell devry there's no point in having a center back on the bench in my opinion um yeah i, I, I would say sell devry i also i mean swapping makaleli and coman in game realistically i don't see the point i think they both probably play very similarly in each position so i wouldn't really i wouldn't really swap them personally but that's also obviously your choice um i would say with this team rating wise i give this team a an eight an eight out of ten i think you've definitely got good meta players but i would say upgrade wise alwa rodrigo cyprian um i would say upgrade alwa obviously to his tots version uh rodrigo i would say upgrade him you can go with uh with a whole lot of different options here um uh and to be honest i i'll be honest, my mind's gone blank but uh, you can go with a lot of different options you can go with like griezmann people like that um and then cyprian i've heard is getting a flashback i don't know how reliable that is but apparently there's a leak of a flashback cyprian and if there is you might have great stats so that's what i would say for that team and the last one for the episode is coming from uh, i don't want to butcher the name i'm gonna say owen I'm going to say, uh, based on my my knowledge of Irish names, which is very little, I'm going to say Owen. Uh, I might be wrong. I do apologize. But anyway, it says, everyone is untradeable but willing to save. Only have like 20k at the minute, though. I want to get rid of Figo. I feel that. This is a great team, to be fair, with everyone untradeable. you got some really, really nice pack look. I would say, yeah, Bobby Moore and Figo have got to go in this setup. Obviously, you're going to have to save up to, to be able to afford better players. But when you can afford them, I would say, get in a Rio Ferdinand for Bobby. Uh, I would say... For uh, Figo, I mean, there's a whole lot of different options, really. I don't, you can, you can peruse the, uh, or peruse the uh, icon market and give yourself um, an education on how much icons are if you want to, to choose who you want to use realistically. Um, but yeah, the rest of the team is good. I like the rest of the team. I think that your pack look has been fantastic. So that's it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave that down below. Sorry if my energy hasn't quite been there. Um, just been dealing with a few things. Uh, off off screen off camera stuff like that um however next week is a new week uh tomorrow's a new day and uh and you know we'll be bringing the energy in the newer videos thank you all for the epic support i really appreciate it much love everyone i'll see you later